Okay, so sweet aspirations x multiply. Uh, easy strat with uh, Zangetsu. Two chronomancers and one unit that can be basically anything that can deal with the range that spawn and the guy on the right side. So I have Magnus on my alt, so let's go with Magnus. I'm using Zangetsu in slot 2 so that I can uh, easily host the game on any of the alts that I want. So Magnus obviously has the highest agility, gonna go first. So what are we gonna do? Just overclock Zangetsu, move forward. That's what you want to do with both Chronomancers. Yeah, have dances basically do nothing. You don't really care, she can die one of the last units. First turn you just move into position, there's nothing you can reach. You get overclocked. And the best is to kill this guy from above here so you can then get into position without wasting movement. So that's that. Now we get a second overclock. Get into this little thingy. Uh, you can then uh, go straight three movements and uh, you end up in the good grand cast positions. Of course charge up. And in, in this place you want to aggro those three two-hander guys. So here you are preparing for Grand Cross, which is happening. Yeah, she's gonna dance, but yeah, it does nothing. You don't really care. Uh, Magnus, sometimes it takes two shots to if you have a better range unit or better anything, like you can use a, you know, something like a Holy Brawler or whatever on the right. I have Magnus, so I'm using Magnus. He's not gonna be able to kill him. Never mind. It's gonna take one more turn. Uh, here you are able to overclock from this position because it's three straight and just one. So overclock Zangetsu. And now Zangetsu is ready to do what he's here to do. So just can cross, this is the best position, you get all three. Easy peasy. Yeah, the longest part of this multiplayer is actually waiting for the enemies to die and spawn the chests, so yeah. You can just grab the chest now with uh, this chrono and you can cast Black Hole on the Dancer. So this chrono is gonna cast Black Hole here on the Dancer. You can reach from the position of the chest. Yeah, Rahu clocks air, so yeah. Now Arahu overclocks Zangetsu. He can kill Rahu easily. 
Yeah, that was a slaughter. And you basically won at this point, so... We'll just go through the motions. Magnus can deal with the guy that is up here. Or wh whatever unit you have to wipe up this uh, right side. Now Rahu or the Chrono can move and from here the way I do it uh, at this point you really don't have anything to fear. I just cast Black Hole from here over to the Archer on the left. Yeah, the original Black Hole that was cast on the Dance and our resolves. Yeah, they are mostly harmless. Uh, here I overclock Rahu again. So she can actually move uh, closer to the archer on the left because somebody has to grab the chest that somebody has to. And the easiest way is to grab the chest uh, with Zangetsu, like over here. Because he's so slow with his agility. Rahu uh, is not gonna cast Black Hole. And my Rahu is just right on the fence. Uh, she casts, depending on the plus minus 5% that the variation is, she can uh, kill the guy or maybe she won't. You'll see. Yeah, he's alive. So next turn uh, is gonna be Rahu's turn again. And she's gonna go ahead uh, up there and just smack him to finish him off. And normally, if Magnus shot the guy uh, with a crit or with combo or whatever, he'll be already dead. And if not, just finish him off. It's and this is a fast tactic, so I am not gonna wait for. Uh, those two reinforcements. If you want to like maximize your gain from uh, AP, then you can, you know, start moving back over there and just kill them with Zangetsu, and that's it. So, I hope you enjoyed it. See you in game. Bye. See ya.